Part Two. Let's continue reading. I am the genie of the lamp," said a deep voice. The huge eyes of the genie twinkling at the look of amazement on Aladdin's face. Your wish is my command. I'd like something to take to my mother. Aladdin burst out. Next minute, he was in another treasure cave, even bigger than the first. Take whatever you wish," smiled the genie. "Then my magic carpet will take you home. Just rub the lamp whenever you need me, and I will come at once." Aladdin's mother could hardly believe what she saw. "No more worries about having enough money for food," he told her proudly. "We are rich now." Before long. Aladdin and his mother had the most wonderful mansion, which the genie built by magic. Even the emperor was impressed by what he saw. Such a handsome, wealthy young man would be the ideal husband for his daughter. He thought. And how proud Aladdin's mother was to see her son marry a beautiful princess. By this time, the man who had left Aladdin in the underground cave was so jealous. How he wondered had Aladdin got his riches? He decided to watch him every hour of the day. At last, his patience was rewarded. As soon as he saw Aladdin rubbing the magic lamp and the genie appearing. He guessed what the secret was. The magic lamp should be his. He decided. This is the end of part two. Надеюсь, вы поняли вторую часть истории. Если что-то осталось непонятным, прослушайте текст еще раз. Если нужно, можете замедлить скорость видео. Okay. Bye.